Hi there, welcome back to This Morning. Now, it's the disturbing stalking ordeal which has been turned into a hit Netflix drama. It is gripping. Richard Gadd so created good. and stars in Baby Reindeer after one act of kindness led to him being stalked for four and a half years. Before we chat to him, let's take a look. You say this woman's stalking you? Yeah, like six months, maybe. Why'd it take you so long to report it? I think she needs help. She comes to my work, my house. She sends me emails, like, all the time. Are any threatening towards you? Yeah. I wouldn't say that's particularly threatening. You're a comedian? Sort of. It's not going well. So is that a question? Somebody hurt you, didn't they? Who was it? Martha, can you let go of my hand now, please? Martha, please let go! Not you dare! I'm really worried here. Woo! You can't let her affect us like this. It's not her affecting us, it's you. You indulge her. Oh, please. I think you love it. Look, Martha, just go back home. I have a sneaky feeling you might be the death of me. <laughs> oh, and Richard Gadd joins us now here this morning. Good morning, morning. to you. Thanks First for of all, me. let's start off by saying congratulations. Number uh, one you. on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> and it's we've talked about it, we've been discussing it all morning and just how brilliantly it's written, how there there isn't really a a villain or a hero in yeah, it. it yeah. is, it's, it's, it's all about discussing the grey of yes, human absolutely. beings, essentially. Yeah. You must feel so proud of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm super proud of it. I, I, it's blown up so quickly and so fast all around the world that I, 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 didn't, ex <laughs> I didn't expect it in a lot of ways. Uh, I, I really believed in the show, mm. but, but the fact that it's gone so, so stratospheric so quickly, for such a cult, quite niche, sort of story, mm. I, I mean, it's, it's kind of amazing. So it's and clearly struck a chord. The, the, the underlying thing is this is your lived experience. You actually went through this. So we're watching yeah. this very dark comedy because it's written like that and it is funny mm -hmm. uh, yeah. happening and, and the whole time thinking, crikey, you actually went through this. When did you think this extraordinarily traumatic four and a half years <laughs> of your life would make a great comedy drama? Well, I, I'd started sort of doing it on the stage. I started, I, I, I'd gone through some pretty bad things, stalking and stuff that probably can't discuss at this time, but, mm. but you know... They're I, all I, in Baby Reindeer. Yeah, they're yes. all in Baby Reindeer, yeah. And, and I, I got a catharsis from going to the Edinburgh Festival and, and actually performing these plays and exploring the themes and just getting it all out there. And I, I achieved a sort of acceptance around them. And those shows took off and Baby Reindeer took off, started at the Edinburgh Festival went to London and just it built and built and built and then Netflix came to me and were like, do you want to make this into a series? It, it, it just snowballed and snowballed and mm. you just hope that that kind of catharsis just keeps going on at an even bigger scale, mm. so, yeah. I mean, we don't want to give it all away because no. you've got to watch it, but, but essentially it all begins with one random act of kindness. Yes. And then as it develops through, you can see in hindsight, knowing what's going to happen, mm. all the little mistakes that your character makes oh, yeah. along the yeah. way. <laughs> But is that kind of what happened in real life too? <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. The, 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 it did all start with a drink on the house. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew almost immediately, that's, that's, that's why so much is made about that look up in episode one, the, you know, that look up that Martha does. Uh, that, that's, that is very reminiscent of what happened. I almost knew the second I'd done that, I'd made that gesture that, oh, something's brewing here. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to get to the extent that it did get, yeah. but... It definitely started in that moment, yeah. And just, I mean, in terms of the experience of having somebody who was stalking you, how bad did it get? Oh, it got, it got pretty bad. It got pretty relentless. At one stage, it was like an assault on all, all senses across all media, emails, phone, everything. Uh, it, it, it felt like a barrage, a constant sort of 24-7 issue. And you felt, I think one of the things that I get from the series is that you understand that you have a responsibility within that as well. This, you, you had, yeah. at certain periods, as Kat was saying, you had done things that, that perhaps when you look at it, you think, maybe I encouraged some of this and I shouldn't yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, want, I didn't want to do a sort of... It, it felt too easy to do a cup of tea and, oh, oh is, is an, aren't I such a big Tim? It, it didn't feel me. that way. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. It, it didn't feel that way in life. I, I indulged it. I was in a bad place. I made stupid errors. I sort of felt like I needed uh, someone to, to give me attention in a way because my, my confidence was rock bottom. And I wanted to get that in. I wanted to show the nuances of the human condition, really. I wanted to show that people are a mixture of good and bad. And I think stalker stories usually tend to be one person's good, one mm. person's bad. And I wanted to kind of get away from that. I have to say, your co-star as well, Jessica oh, yeah. Gunning. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> How she transports herself from one, in a split second, from being 
incredibly aggressive mm. and very frightening to suddenly being... Sweetness so, and light. Yeah, you yeah. feel so sorry for her. She's mm. heartbreaking almost. Yes, yes. Yeah, must have absolutely. been great to be opposite her. Oh, I, I adored her. There were times when <laughs> we'd be shooting shots and it would be... The camera would be over my shoulder on her and I'd forget to say my lines because really? I'm like, God, she's so good. She's just so good. Oh, sorry, I've messed this up. <laughs> and... Uh, She's remarkable. I think she's the best actress in this country. I do, I do, and I always had her in mind for 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 Martha. I always I saw her in TV shows. I saw a spark. I saw a vulnerability. I saw a light, a darkness. I saw it all, and I. I was sort of pushing her from the start, really, so it's, so she's mm. great. There's a little clip, we're not giving much away, but there's a little clip in the, in the trailer where you go into the police station for the first time mm. and you say, look, I think I've got a stalker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the reality of that is something that you lived as well, mm. their sort of dismissive nature of what you took to them. What was that experience like? And, and what do you think needs to be done? Because you're not the first person to experience something like this, but yeah. it took <clears throat> you having to prove there was a threat of physical violence for them to take you seriously. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think it's... It, it always felt like a long and convoluted process. It always felt way more, way, way, way more difficult than it ever needed to be. Um, I think a lot of it comes down to, you know, cuts, understaffing, lack of training, all these kinds of things. Uh, and I do remember when, when I was told to listen to the, the voicemails, I, I did have a choice to change my phone, but, but, but there was the idea that something threatening can kick stuff into action. So it was almost an act of <laughs> self-flagellation to be listening to them all the time. Mm. All, all the messages time. she'd left you. Yeah, yeah. But in the end, it did sort of speed things up a little bit. But, but yeah, it was a, it was a frustrating process. Um, I, but I know a lot of people who have been through it have had it even more difficult than me. So, yeah. So, so yeah, I think there's a widespread um, belief that it needs change, that fundamental change needs to happen. Did you ever find out why she walked into the pub that day, that first day when she walked in and sat at the bar? No, but I've questioned it all the time the because there was a distress or, or something yeah. had happened. Um, and sometimes I, I question, was it the end of her stalking relationship with someone else and the beginning of a stalking relationship with me? I guess I'll never know, but I, I have often asked myself that, mm. actually. Yeah. yeah. How was it to relive all of that again? Because uh, in one way, it must be terribly distressing and it almost takes you back to those, you know, there was over 41,000 emails you're talking about, listening to the voicemails, Thousand all that. It must be distressing. But in another way, there must be a slightly empowering moment about almost taking control of the situation and yeah. turning it <clears throat> into something positive. Yeah, I think so. I, th I think that's, that's what I've got most out of out of art and in, in my life and writing and doing all these things. It has this uncanny sort of ability to sort of dwarf the magnitude of themes in your life. And mm. when you're struggling with things and everything's on your shoulders and tight in your chest, just getting out there, writing it down, putting it into something. Mm. It's, it's, it's been the best therapy for me. It's kind of been a lifesaver. So. There's something about being a comedian, though, and being a writer and writing about your own experience that you have to put yourself out there. Yeah. I wonder how much you've changed because you were just being generous and nice to this person and it's had such a massive impact. Yeah. Has it changed, yeah, who you are as a person? Are you more guarded about interaction with people? Oh, for sure, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I, think I, I definitely think twice now. I'm definitely, like, out of the... Because I, I was going through such a chaos of trauma back then. I, I definitely feel... It was a long time ago now. I definitely feel I'm a, more out of that. And mm -hmm. I, I, things, I, I hope and I like to believe that things would play out differently now. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's a brilliant series, a brilliant piece of writing. Yeah. Couldn't be any better. Thank Congratulations. Thank it's out on Netflix now. Yeah. You can watch it back to back to back. That's what we did, didn't we? <laughs> we did. Absolutely gripped. It's great to meet you. Thank Thanks you. so much. Nice Thanks to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you.